Africa. MTV. Today, we are focusing on this little Lunker City. It's a sluggo, and it is $2.69. But, you guys don't care about that, right? You guys wanna see me do something today, and what am I gonna be doing for you folks? I'm gonna show you guys how to fish this bait right here for betting smallmouth bass. Uh, big. Let's go catch three smallmouths. Or two small ones? How many, how many small ones do you guys want to see? We'll start off with one, then we'll go two, then we'll go three. How does that sound? We'll see you guys on the water. What do you think, Sam? Told. Well. Haven't even launched yet. We are on a lake that is known for big fish, so let's hopefully put these lures to the test. We're on the water. You've got the bait. We're gonna throw this bait on a drop shot. We're gonna rig it. Wacky style. It's got a little bluegill color to it. Um, look at this. Boom. Money. Shot. Money. Mama money. To a drop shot. Look at this bait in the water. Just incredible action. Also, you know, if you want to rig it on a wacky jig head, you could also do that. There's so many ways you can nose nose hook this bait, you could wacky rig it. You could use jig heads, you could use drop shots. You know, I'm gonna focus on the drop shot. Might check, take, might take out the little wacky jig, you know, why not? Um, let's see though, I'm gonna throw the chesty on and see if I can catch a couple smallies that are on this little, this rock point on a little sluggo. The MTV Sluggo B-Town starts right about now. Located a fish that seems to be, you know, running shallow. I'm gonna try and make a cast to him here and catch him. Got him hooked up. First fish of the MTB Sluggo Slam. I actually rigged that bait up a little different for that fish to bite. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Come here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, look at that fish right there. What I did was I ended up actually taking that Sluggo and rigging it just like I would a Ned rig. So that bait is sitting there, bounced on the bottom. This fish was guarding some fry or guarding a bed and absolutely inhaled it. Number one. Okay, here we go. Uh, big. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that was a lot bigger than I thought she was. Wonker City right there, look at that sluggo. Now I caught that one rigged wacky. Started off throwing a drop shot, wasn't working. Caught the last one nose hooked, and now I caught that one wacky style. Crazy. Oh yeah, come here, big. Another gorgeous Wisconsin smallmouth. If you could find the right stretch area, all three of these fish came off one little sand spot. Oh my gosh, she's jumping in the boat. Come here, Leroy. Oh my gosh, this fish. That is fish number three here in northern Wisconsin. And that is how you throw that sluggo bait. Two of the fish came wacky rigged, one of the fish came nose hooked. And these are all 17 to 19 inch smallmouth. And they are all just gorgeous. I love you. All released right away. And that is the magical bait. Matches my shirt, matches my attitude, and it matches. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you guys are at all confused what I was using, 15 pound braid on a seven foot one medium heavy rod, two 12 pound test fluorocarbon, 
three sixteenths ounce jig head using the June MTB bait, the little sluggo. Rigged. Nose, rigged. Wacky, rigged however you want it. These fish just want to see this bait dancing in front of their face. This time of year, you know, end of May, early June, even the late June, all these smallmouth are they're cruising the shallows, they're on rocks, they're you know, they're on structure. That's a really easy time to target them with baits like this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed a couple tech tips with your boy AP. We will catch you guys on another episode of AP. This is Mystery Tackle Box. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't, leave a like below, comment if you guys enjoyed me, and uh, we will see you guys next time on Mystery Tackle Box's YouTube channel.